Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to manually take full backup of a database in SQL Server. This is also known as ad hoc full backup. Sometimes what happens is there is a big deployment going on and there are going to be a lot of changes in your database. And uh, um, one of the, the developers who make changes, they would like to have you uh, f take a full backup of the database in SQL Server before they make all those changes. Let's say that something goes wrong, you have an option to restore the database to that particular time. And we'll be using two methods to do that, using SQL Server Management Studio, Graphic User Interface, and using T-SQL Script. So here's my server, and here's my uh, SQL Server right here, Tech Brothers uh, SQL uh, Production Server, and these are the databases up here. Uh, so what we're going to do is first use SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface to take the full backup. So let's say that uh, my request is to take sales order, uh, sales orders database full backup. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on the database, go to task and click on backups. So by default, the option up here is full, as you can see right here. Uh, so this in this particular demo, we're going to take a full backup so we're gonna go through some of the options right here. This is the database name, and um, um, we're going to, the destination of the backup is going to be disk in SQL Server 2012 and SQL Server 2014. We have another option called URL, and uh, I'll cover that how to take uh, backup and store on URL in another demo. Uh, but uh, just, uh, just to let you know, in 2012 and 2014, we have two options, store it to the disk and URL. And here is your path where you uh, would have your uh, particular database backup, full backup. As you can see right here, you have an option to remove this path and add. Once you remove this, you can add uh, a path, file path, where would you like to store your backup. Keep in mind, whenever you backup, please store it in a, a protected location. Uh, don't store it locally. If you have to store it locally, try to move it as soon as you can to some um, other, other other place than uh, uh, local server because that's the whole purpose of taking the backup of SQL uh, of a database uh, if something happened to that particular server you have an option to go back to the backup and restore that particular database backup to any other server so we're gonna go ahead and uh, key I'm, I'm gonna leave this um, path right here I'm going to go ahead and uh, store sales orders backup right here Let's look at the media options. Right here, the media option is the overwrite media, backup the existing media set. If you wanted to append to the existing backup set, that means that the existing backup set will not be deleted. This will just be appended to the uh, uh, location that you provided, and they'll be this will be appended with the uh, uh, date and time or the name that you, whatever you provide. And if you would like to overwrite all existing database sets let's say that you already have the full backup and you just wanted to go ahead and overwrite uh, this existing um, this backup that you're taking now to an existing uh, uh, backup of the database you have an option to do that <clears throat> just so that you know that uh, um, uh, overwriting uh, existing backup is not a recommended option in uh, production. You have an option. Uh, there are other ways that you can take the backups and clean up the backups later on, but uh, do not uh, really attempt to uh, go ahead and overwrite all existing database backups. Since this is uh, just a test and demo, uh, I can go ahead and click on overwrite all existing database backup. And up here is check the media set name and backup set expiration. This is for if you're uh, uh, taking the backup and storing it on the tape um, and uh, some other media uh, then uh, disk, then you can go ahead and basically put a uh, 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 check this bar and right here provide the media set name. Um, backup to a new media set and erase all existing backup. You, you have an option if you have a different media uh, such as tape, then you can go ahead and click this option. This is uh, to start the media to take your backups and store it. So you have that option. Reliability, uh, sometimes in production, uh, usually I would recommend that you should always verify uh, the backup before um, you know, uh, before you call it that uh, it's a good backup because 
uh, what happened is is basically it doesn't really uh, restore uh, it checks the consistency and everything and error checking um, and this if you have this option you can almost make sure uh, a 95 percent that your uh, backup is a good backup and you can restore it without any errors if you click right here this option verify backup when op uh, when finished so the other is perform checksum before writing to the media uh, keep in mind that uh, if there is a checksum error um, and it went to the media and stored it then it is going to if you have just these two options it it is going to abort the database backup it's not it's gonna fail the backup is gonna fail if it faces the checksum before writing to the media however if you have this option selected continue on error then it's going to go ahead and do the checksum um, but uh, it is going to ignore the error and continue uh, backing up the database I wouldn't recommend doing this because um, if the checksum error is there then you might run into issue of restoring that particular database there are other options that's transactional and tape drive options we'll go into uh, when we go um, take the backup or we'll, we'll do the demo of transactional log backup we'll consider these options backup options right here this is the name uh, backup set name you can change it whatever you want to if you want to append the date particular date and time you can go ahead and do that description why you're taking uh, this backup the, the, the best way to put this description is if it's ad hoc base uh, uh, um, backup then you can put that um, uh, the change control or whatever the uh, deployment is going on uh, put description up there so that uh, in you know couple days or later on when they find out that uh, you need the backup uh, before all those changes went in then you would find out that uh, it, it'll distinguish from the description from other databases up here the backup will expire if you wanted to put a uh, 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 days let's say that uh, eight days it'll expire um, and uh, expired databases will give you hassle to restore so um, basically this is more of a tape option than uh, disk drive options but um, you have an option that uh, when you want it to expire how many days or what date you would like these backups to be expired compression uh, use the default uh, server setting you have this the SQL server uh, does compress um, on its own and when once this option right here is selected then it's going to use that uh, default server uh, which is I, I think that uh, it is about uh, 20 or 30 percent uh, I believe uh, that will com be compressed but if you wanted to force compression right here you have an option compress backup and do not compress backup so uh, compress backup will reduce the basically um, the size of the backup on the disk but uh, keep in mind if your uh, backup is compressed let's say it's 100 gig and it's compressed to 40 gig then that doesn't mean that it's gonna restore rather quick because it's a compress it has to uncompress and restore it's going to take the same amount of time to restore the database if it's not compressed so just wanted to mention it real quick encryption options are here we're not going to use encryption option we'll get into encryption option later on uh, in one of the uh, other uh, demos so we're going to go ahead and use default server setting right here once you went through all this setting and you understand everything then you can go back to the database and we're gonna go ahead and click OK and since my database is really mostly empty it didn't take but a minute to really uh, uh, back up the database so click OK so this is how uh, you will uh, I'll go ahead and show you where the database is the backup right here is sales order backup as you can see right now is 2 MB so this is the backup we just took using SQL Server Management Studio we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing uh, with uh, using T SQL script so I'm going to go ahead and load click on file I have already the script and this is my ad hoc full backup database 
So as you can see, these are the same option and uh, T-SQL script back up the database, database name to the disk where you wanted to store the database up here. And um, uh, retail days, this is expiry date as we saw in there that how many days that you would like to have this particular database expired. So that is in uh, terms of uh, T-SQL is called uh, uh, retain days. So uh, no format, this is more of a, a tape option that if you wanted to go ahead and format tape and disk option, uh, it always, always uh, uh, do not uh, ever uh, really um, select the format option. Uh, this is by default option, no format, but you have an option to do the format. If you're setting up your media first time, uh, let's say you're doing it on tape, and you need to format it that's what it's a good idea that's when the first time you're setting up your media you can go ahead and do it with format option but um, after that it's not recommended to use format option and no initialization again if the initialization happen then format is gonna take place so keep in mind that uh, this no init should be there as well and name of the database right here you have an option to change in t-sql script as well skip this is going to uh, basically this is uh, about the checking the media as we saw in uh, a graphic user interface and this is equivalent to that and no rewinds this is uh, again tape no unload and this is the status right here uh, it says stats it's not statistics it's not SQL Server uh, uh, database statistics it means the status when you take the backup uh, usually the status runs um, and this is the option 10 when it's a 10 percent it's going to show 10 percent unless it's reached to 20 percent it's not it's still going to show you 10 percent once it's reached to 20 percent and then the status will change that your backup has completed 20 percent 30 percent so this is the if you would like to see that every two percent three percent you need to change this status to one so then it'll show you that it's uh, every time it in increment one percent then it's going to show one percent two percent three percent four percent checksum if you would like to have a checksum then this is a, a t-sql way to do enable the checksum as we saw in uh, ad hoc based so basically i'm not going to do the checksum so I'm good with that, um, but you have an option to do that. Up here, um, I have, um, I'm not going, basically going to do the verification. This is a verification uh, database verify code that what we saw in here when we did uh, um, uh, the graphic user interface. We had an option to click on verify database once the full backup happened so that our backup is good. But uh, this script will be there on the uh, blog and also in the, the the link would be in description so you can go ahead and use this script if you would like to verify your backup so let's go ahead and uh, run that I'm going to change the name up here underscore to underscore PC so I'm going to go ahead and run this execute this as you can see I changed it to one so it showed me all from one two percent five percent nine then increment went ahead and it showed us to 297 pages uh, process and everything through management studio and using t-sql script and I hope it helped